This is a Cardano instructional video brought to you by Arcadia's Atoms and Tesla stake pools. Professional, reliable, and proven in the incentivized testnet. Find us online at arcadiastakepool.com and consider staking your ADA with us. Thank you. Welcome to this video. Uh, if you watch the last couple videos uh, in what is developed into kind of an instructional series here on how to use Daedalus for your Cardano ADA cryptocurrency, uh, you've, uh, you've installed, you've downloaded and installed the Daedalus wallet and you've set up your own personal wallet inside the Daedalus application. What I'd like to do in this video is introduce you to some of the staking functions in the wallet as well as some of the other functionalities that Data, Daedalus has in it. So let's get right into it. Uh, I, go ahead and pop open your copy of Daedalus. I have it already open down here. From the last video we made this test wallet which has nothing in it. It's just a toss away wallet that I can use to demonstrate to you how to set up the wallet. If you want to add more wallets, you can easily do that by clicking down here to add wallet and then going through exactly the same process as we did in the video about creating your first wallet in Daedalus. If you had a wallet in the ITN, the Incentivized Test Network, this copy, this version of Daedalus 2.1.0 is capable of redeeming that ITN ADA from the test net. So you would click here and what you need is you need your wallet recovery phrase. I believe that's a 15 word phrase in the test net. You will enter, enter that here. Before you do this, you need to already have a Shelly capable wallet. The incentivized test net was a slightly different version of the kind of wallets that are being used now in the Shelly mainnet. So you can't use that same uh, wallet in order to uh, stake on the, the Shelly mainnet. You need to access the ADA that is in those wallets, redeem it, and transfer it to a existing Shelly wallet. So that was one of the reasons why I took you through creating this Shelly capable wallet. This is a wallet now that's capable of staking on Shelly mainnet, whereas uh, the old Byron era, the, the old ITN era wallets are not capable of staking on Shelly. So you have to first create a Shelly wallet so that you can move your old ADA from the Byron era and from the ITN era into this new Shelly wallet. Um, if you click here on the ITN, you can see that you need your recovery phrase and then you can pick the wallet to put it in. Gives you the options here. The only one that we have is the test wallet. You can, if you need to, go back and click add wallet and click restore. And you can see you can restore your Roy wallet, a hardware wallet, a Daedalus wallet. If you say Daedalus wallet, it's going to ask you which kind. If you have an old Byron era wallet, this is the point where you could restore that and then move your old Byron era funds, which is basically all of the wallets um, that were in Cardano prior to July the 29th, prior to the launch of the Shelly mainnet. So at this point now with this version of Daedalus, this new version of Daedalus, you can restore your old wallet. You won't be able to stake with that old wallet, but like with the ITN wallet, you'll be able to transfer your funds from that old Byron wallet to a Shelly wallet. Now what I'm talking about, in case you're not familiar with these terms, Cardano has these different stages of its development and they've named them after different people, so they've decided to call uh, the first era that was prior to the proof of stake um, network that we have now, uh, Byron era, and the, the part of the network now that launches the proof of stake version of their platform is called Shelly. So that's what these words mean. So all that I'm saying when I'm talking about Byron Air or Shelly, incentivized testnet was just the testnet getting ready for uh, the proof of stake network, the Shelly network. So all I'm, all I'm saying when I, I say Byron or Shelly, I'm talking about Byron is before the proof of stake network, 
Shelley is at is after that switch from uh, the federated network that they had where input outputs nodes were making all of the blocks to a distributed proof of stake architecture where there's different stake pools and stakeholders that uh, delegate their stake to those stake pools. And that staking function is one of the things that I want to take a look at. So just before we get into that, I wanted to run down through these other functions here. So we looked at the ITN. Again, you're going to restore your ITN wallet if you have one. Transfer the ADA out of that into your new Shelly wallet. You can make as many Shelly wallets as you want to. Um, when you go to delegate them, all of the ADA in that wallet is going to be delegated to whichever stake pool you pick. So if you want to delegate to multiple stake pools, realize that you're going to have to make multiple wallets and then stake that wallet to whatever list of stake pools that you, that you have and that you desire to stake with. So just realize that you can't su individually subdivide out the, the ADA in one of your wallets. So like all of the ADA, if I were to put ADA into this test wallet, that would all have to be staked to a particular stake pool. I couldn't subdivide that out. The only way you can subdivide that out and stake to multiple pools is you've got to create another wallet. And there's no cost to creating these wallets. You can create as many of them as you want and divide up your ADA amongst them and then stake with 10 or you know however many stake pools you want to stake with. Likewise, uh, if you need to move your Byron funds, if you have the Byron funds, um, in the, the old style of the wallet, you can restore that in Daedalus using the function I just showed you, and then move on, move all of that ADA into your Shelly wallet. In this case, our case here would be the test wallet. Um, obviously, do not um, do not use the the test wallet that you saw me made. Uh, that's all of the the security for that. The the mnemonic phrase, the password are all on that YouTube video. So the, the, this wallet is good for nothing because everyone has the access code to it. So don't, don't try to restore this wallet because it's not a safe or secure wallet. I'm going to be deleting this uh, after I'm done with this series of videos. So, you know, don't, um, don't use this wallet. Make your own wallet, all right, one that's private. Um, so, so once you get your funds into the test wallet, then you can explore some of these staking functions. So I'd like to just show you a few of them. That's uh, this center right here. So if we click on that, uh, it takes you immediately to this info section where it says Cardano is transitioning into a decentralized system. It's transitioning from a federated system operated by its creators. That's the Byron era, as I was just trying to explain, to a decentralized system operated by a community of stake pool operators. That's the Shelley era. During this transition, blocks will be produced both by the federated nodes and by stake pools. So it's kind of like uh, a relay race. If you've ever seen one of those, like in the Olympic track and field races, um, one runner starts with the baton and that runner has to hand off the baton to the next runner. So the Byron era is like the first runner and the Shelley era is the second runner. And the nodes that input output the creator of Cardano uh, that was making the blocks originally is now handing off the block production to the stake pool operators in the Shelley era. And so that process has to be done the correct way. You know, you don't want to drop the baton in the race. So we're going through this process where we gradually uh, decrement this parameter that's called D, and we'll talk more about that parameter but you can see at this particular moment, we're only, you know, we've only got a big toe sort of stuck into the decentralized uh, arena. 10% of the blocks in an epic, epic being um, a division of time in the, the Cardano staking system, which we can also talk more about at a later time. But only 10% of the blocks that are produced in this current epic that we're in right now are being produced by the stake pools. The other 90% are still being produced by uh, the federated Byron era nodes, but just operating with the Shelley software on them.
So that's how things are working right now. So whenever you launch into this uh, staking center or delegation center, as they're calling it, it will give you this information about how many of the blocks are being produced. Right now, it's only 10%. We're just, we're just beginning our journey into decentralization. Across the top, you have this navigation bar that will take you to the different areas within this delegation center. So let's just click here on delegation center. What this tells you is it gives you an idea of where we are in the, the timestamp sort of of the Cardano Epic. So we're in Epic 211, started out with, um, you know, if you count backwards all the way back to the beginning, it would be back in, in two seven, uh, 2017. There have been 211 epics. Each epic is five days long. So you can just multiply that out, and that tells you how many days the blockchain has been running. The epic, sort of like a day, is divided into slots, just like a day is divided into hours and minutes. And um, there's 43, uh, 432,000 slots in one epic. So this is basically the number of seconds in five days. So I think if you if you calculate that out, there's 432,000 seconds. So there's one slot each second, and so there's 432,000 seconds in the period of five days. And this tells you exactly where we're at right now. And a, a more human readable version of that says, well, the next Cardano epic is going to start in about two days, all right? Um, we're, we're just under the two-day mark. We've got one day and 23 hours left. And now this is very important. Changes to the delegation preferences will take effect after both the current and next Cardano epics have completed. Epics on the Cardano mainnet last five days, as we just said. Any changes made now will take effect in six days 23 hours and five minutes. So essentially you have to take this time here and add one epic to it. So as this counts down, um, right now it's coming up with six days, 23 hours and five minutes because you take five days and you add this to it and that gives you what they're reporting right here. So you have to finish out the current epic that you're in, wait the entire next epic, and then whatever change you make takes effect in that later one. And I've got an illustration of that that I'm going to show you um, after we go through and look at the different parts of the delegation center here in the Daedalus wallet.